Hello and welcome to this ZTPFGI demonstration. ZTPFGI allows one to define three types of VPARs. Private VPARs, which are assigned to specific users exclusively. Shared VPARs, which any authorised users can log into. And on-demand VPARs. In this demo, we'll take a look at ZTPFGI's ability to automatically allocate VPARs from a pool on demand. The on-demand VPARs feature is fully customizable via a group of comprehensive yet easy to edit configuration and definition files. For example, this file psys1.autoconf contains the configuration for the psys1 VPARs pool. The configuration contains two sections, a resource definition section and a command definition section. Parameter values that begin with a hash or pound symbol are placeholders. The values to be assigned to these parameters under various conditions are defined in the definition file specified. The resource definition file defines the resources that are available to this pool and the command definition file defines all the possible commands in the automation process and, for each command, how long to wait for a response and what actions to take in the event of each possible response. Now before we take a look at the automatic allocation of VPARs on demand in action, let's take a brief look at the concept. When a programmer, Client A, requests an on-demand VPARs from a pool, the ZTPFGI worker machine starts another worker, which finds the next available VPARs in the pool, brings it up and gives it to Client A. Client A's worker then starts another worker, which finds the next available VPARs in the pool and brings it up to a user-definable ready state and disconnects. When another programmer, Client B, requests an on-demand VPARs from the same pool, their ZTPFGI worker starts another worker, which finds the ready VPARs and allocates it to Client B. Client B's worker then starts a worker that brings another VPARs to the ready state and disconnects. In a given pool, the number of VPARs to be held in the steady state at any one time is customizable via the on-demand configuration. Ensuring that the pool always contains a defined number of VPARs in the ready state means that the automatic allocation of on-demand VPARs can occur quickly and efficiently. Now that we've looked at the concept of on-demand VPARs, let's take a look at it in action. Let's click the Connect button, which brings up a list of available VPARs. This list shows shared VPARs that are available. It also lists pools from which you can request a VPARs. Let's request a VPARs from the VPSYS1 pool. First, the PSYS1 pool is searched for the next available VPARs. It finds a VPARs which is in the ready state. It validates the configuration, then connects us to the VPARs, and we're ready to go. The whole process takes only seconds. Thanks for watching this demonstration of automated on demand VPARS allocation in ZTPFGI. To find out more, please watch some of the other demos that are available, take a look at our brochure, or contact us for further information.